first runner-up in the state of Minnesota, you are Maya Nelson. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to announce that your new 2022 Miss Minnesota preteen is Mallory Hamstreet. Oh, yes, from that moment, the name of the first runner up was called. You could see Mallory Habstreet knew she was adding another crown to her collection. And in doing so, she's becoming even more of an advocate for being proud of our differences and loving whatever skin that you are living in. We are honored to be joined by royalty this morning, Miss Minnesota preteen Mallory Habstreet. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. We can see on your face, you kind of, oh my goodness, I, I, I met, right? Yeah, How, what was yeah. going through your mind at that moment? I was really happy and excited, but just like, whoa, so many things are happening. I was really shocked and excited. Well, we're very, very happy for you and happy to have you here. Here. And you really have, you know, not only um, embraced your platform and mm -hmm. obviously have a lot of confidence and, are, and compete mm -hmm. in these pageants, but you also have a unique story. So tell mm -hmm. us about your skin condition and kind of how you, you really are um, focusing on this in these competitions. Well, I, when, when I was in first grade, I was diagnosed with vitiligo, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks the pigment cells in your skin and it causes you to lose that color in your skin. So I have it on my legs and my elbows. And it was really hard because I was really scared and I felt really different and alone. I didn't know that there were other people out there like me. But as I started pageants, I met a lot of people that inspired me and that because they uh, love the skin they're in, it inspired me to do the same. And that was many years ago, because that was first grade, so now mm -hmm. you're in seventh grade, and yeah. do you feel, you know, you get to talk about it more and more, you get to talk mm -hmm. to friends about it, you talk to people on stage about it, and yeah. it helps build your confidence more and more? Yeah, definitely, and now my goal is to inspire others, and that's why I continue, and that's why I really love to do pageants, because I'm able to inspire others. And speaking of inspiring others, uh, you are also becoming an author. Tell us about this yes. new book you have in the works. So me and my mom are writing a book called Angel's Big Splash. It is a children's book, and it's about puppies who have vitiligo. And it's uh, the story of Angel, the character, loving the skin she's in. And it relates to my story and my journey throughout loving the skin that I'm in. So I thought it would be really great to start something to really advocate for that. Wow, that is so impressive. And when can we look for that book? It's coming out early 2023, so okay. around New Year's, yeah. All right, and before that, you're also going to be headed off to nationals in November. Yeah. What, what, how do you prepare? You know, what's going through your mind as you get ready for that? Well, I have some time, but I'm doing a lot of interview questions, so I'm preparing with my coach, and I'm working on an intro because one of the main competitions is intro. And so that we have to do like a 30 second speech to a minute about yourself. And that's also with interview. So you have to do two thirds of that is public speaking. So a lot of work on that. And then in the basement, walking and practicing in gown. Well, you're doing pretty good on live TV. So I think you're <laughs> off to a pretty good start in the interview well, category, so but much. that's just my humble opinion here. Um, well, we wish you the best of luck. We can't wait to hear how things go in November for nationals. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, I mean, are you going to continue competing? And you know, what's, what's next for you? Definitely. I want to keep competing. I want to keep inspiring others. And I'm actually able to speak at the World Vitiligo Day Conference. And I was able to do that in June. And I'm going to be going back in Atlanta Georgia for next year and I really like being a part of that community because I was able to see others who are just like me and that gave me a whole new level of confidence. Oh, Mallory, that is so wonderful. Yes, the sky's the limit for you, girlfriend. That's so, so great. We're so happy for you. Thank you so much. Keep tabs on you. I love the sparkle this morning because it's adding a little brightness to our day. So <laughs> keep us posted on the book yes, and definitely. on nationals.